Hello there everybody, my name is Waddles and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, our 1.14 Let's Play series. I hope you're doing well. Uh, 25, that's kind of a milestone. Kind of crazy, kind of cool. Uh, now today we have we have a very, very busy episode. There are quite a few things that I, I'm trying to remember to talk about. I, I hope, hope, hope I don't forget. Uh, but I, I, I never filled you in on my decision on the tour. So uh, today is not a tour. No tour today. We will do a tour eventually. Um, and then when I do the tour, there'll be a world download probably. And and yep, but uh, not today. I think you guys were right. For the most part, I saw, you know, most of you guys saying, just wait, you know, there's not enough. And, and I absolutely agree. So uh, anyways, where we're starting today is the sheep farm. So... Uh, you see this? <laughs> I keep making mistakes and um, stripping this wood. So, yeah, whoops. Uh, but it, the fix, the big fix. So, I, I guess first the problem. Um, it is possible for wool to be thrown up onto these dispensers. And, yeah, that, that can lead to some losses and uh, like that. Uh, it, it's just not a good thing. That's not what we want. Uh, so, I asked for some feedback on the farm uh, because, believe it or not, I'm, I'm not really a redstone expert. And... I had some amazing feedback, so uh, the fix. Let's go ahead and clear some of this out, and, and we need to dig this out too, and uh, this thing will be converted over to a completely lossless wool farm, which is an amazing thing. I did just empty the wool farm as well, and the rates, they're pretty good. Like, I don't know, I, after setting it up, I thought, oh, maybe it's not going to be that good, but uh, you'd be surprised by how much wool I get from this thing. Uh, but anyways, the fix. So, repeaters uh, behind all of the observers, right? Like this, uh, facing into this block right here. Then, um, on uh, this block, we need redstone, like a whole line, like that. And then we need blocks behind all of these dispensers. On top of those blocks, we need even more redstone dust. And then, to finish this off, uh, we can place our blocks in here to block everything off. So, I'll need to go get the correct colors and... And these are placeholders for now, but that is our farm fix. Uh, it's a super, super simple fix, and we can still have our on and off switch too, which is really big to me. I'd like to, you know, definitely be able to turn the thing on and off. So uh, that's off. This is on now. Uh, but that is the whole fix, and, and that's how that all works. So uh, let me go ahead and and fix up the other side and get all the, the wool in, and then I'll show you the final product, and we'll talk about the credit. So, with the color behind the sheep, this, this sort of goes, uh, or stays in line with the vision that I had for the farm, where we have these, these big, long stripes of color, and, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how that all ended up, and how it all looks, and just the whole lossless, uh, factor of it now. I don't know why <laughs> that word catches me up, but it, but it's lossless now, which is amazing. So, uh, the credit, who, who is the winner for today? Well, uh, you, Ronald L., are the winner. Episode 25, The Sheep Farm Fix. So, uh, Ronald, you would be a comment of the day book. The first one, uh, even though it's not a comment, it was a picture sent to me on, on Twitter, but, um, but yep, yeah, so big thank you to Ronald for, for that fix, uh, and thank you to everybody else who sent me, um, other solutions and, and stuff. I just, I don't have slime or anything like that yet, so that was the easiest way to do it, and I am so glad that it works now. But, uh, moving on to the main theme of today's video now, uh, AFK Fishing. So, uh, AFK Fishing is, is, is good, it's cool, it's, it's fun, eh, that's not really fun. <laughs> uh, it's potentially overpowered, and, and yeah, it, it's just a, an aspect of the game that we should definitely talk about, and, and, and I think it's the perfect time to do that. I'm looking to get even more stacked up with enchantments now, and AFK fishing is a brilliant way to go. So first, what is it? Well, AFK fishing is fishing while you are not really looking to play the game. 1.13 broke uh, a lot of the AFK fishing mechanics, but you can still definitely AFK fish. Um, the catch-up for yesterday's episode, or, or the last episode. Uh, we did a skeleton farm. <laughs> I said last episode that I would do a recap at the beginning, and uh, I broke the streak one day. One day in. Uh, skeleton farm is what we did. <laughs> in terms of game definition, uh, AFK fishing is typically uh, spamming a fishing rod over and over again in one spot and collecting up lots of good loot. 
Um, so that is exactly what we're looking to set a build up for or a farm and a machine up for in today's episode. Uh, but first, we need a building, right? So I, I think this spot right here would be a really nice spot for a building, and I have a big goal. My goal this time around with this building is to build the best building that I've built yet. Now, <laughs> we're competing with one building, and, and the, the building is the, the shepherd building uh, behind the, the vine farm that needs to be harvested. But, uh, yeah, I, I need to make the best building that I've built in this world yet. Let's take a break to talk about fishing and the general mechanics. If, if you already know about it, go ahead and just skip this part of the video. Just skip ahead a little bit. Fishing is not really a big aspect of Minecraft, but it, it is an aspect. And if you take advantage of it um, in certain ways, like AFK fishing, you can actually get some pretty stacked loot. Like I'm talking enchanted books, uh, specifically the mending enchantment. Nautilus shells, saddles, bows, like tons of stuff. Now when you're fishing, loot is sorted into really three main categories. We have fish, which is fish, treasure, which is good stuff like bows and enchanted books and, and Nautilus shells and so on, and then junk, which is bad stuff, but some of it's not all that bad. You can actually catch other fishing rods, you can catch ink sacks, which is kind of useful, and even leather as well. As of the 1.14 update, fishing is also semi-biome dependent. If you fish inside of, say, a jungle biome, you have the chance of catching bamboo, whereas if you fish in a forest biome, like what we will be doing, you, you will have no chance of catching bamboo whatsoever. Pretty straightforward, but you, you fish with the fishing rod. Fishing rods have uh, two special enchantments. One of those enchantments is known as Lure, and the other enchantment is known as Luck of the Sea. There are three levels to each enchantment. With Lure 3 on your fishing rod, fish will be attracted to that fishing rod a whole lot faster, meaning you have to wait less time in between draws. With Luck of the Sea on your fishing rod, you'll have better luck with catching treasures, so the good stuff with your fishing rod. So uh, that's fishing, and AFK fishing briefly. There'll be more explanation in the episode in the video, but yep, uh, that's what that is. Uh, moving on. So... The build, the build, the build. This is the hard part. Um, <laughs> I, I, I kind of don't know how I'm going to do this, but let's see what we have. So, uh, build materials over here. Um, dark oak for the build. Maybe spruce. Uh, stone bricks. We got to do it to them. Mossy stone bricks, of course. Uh, mossy cobble. Cobblestone. That's a start. Okay, so... Um, eventually I'm thinking about a storage room, like over here somewhere, it's kind of nice and central, so I think this would be the perfect spot. I did go ahead and clear it out and then level it, um, and I think the build should face this way. This should be the front, like looking that way. I, usually I say, you know, make the fronts of your build, you know, face the other builds, but I, I, I feel like to put it here, facing this way, I'd have to like back it way up and, and yeah. So, um... The build doesn't need to be huge, right? Like, we can definitely get away with a smaller build. Let's try something like this. We'll have, like, um, uh, just a flat build this time. I don't usually do this, but I, I think this will work. Um, so maybe something like that. These will be windows looking out over over the farms. And then we'll have a corner here. Um, over here, we can do maybe... Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Let's do maybe three, right? Like, that should be fine. Because uh, that would be five, then we could do that, and then could we do like a long window, maybe? Like one, two, three, and uh, put that back. Um, this, um, that, uh, and then this. I think that would work, right? Like, like this is the front door right here. We walk in, um, and then we go upstairs. We'll have the fish farm on the second story. This build will be a, a, a two-story build, so... Let's just go with this for now. Um, now, I know I want the front thing, uh, where, where the door is, to, to have a different roof line than the rest of the thing. So it sort of has its own covering. So uh, if we were going to do this, I think I would want to do that uh, and then that, right? So the roof isn't too low to the ground. So this should work. Um, so there, there. Uh, we turn it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like that. Uh, yep. 
And then finally there. So that's the roof for the front bit, maybe. <laughs> uh, then over here, we will, we'll go up. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just kind of making this stuff up as I go. Let's go, I don't know, three. And then what if we did like a beam, right? Like going along. That, that could be cool. Um, this is, is a misplace. So we'll pull that out. And this will go up to, to here. We'll, we'll figure out how to do the corner cross areas. Um, I don't know if if that's really how i want to do that uh then on the side the side wall should be easy or the side walls i should say um i'm thinking we need some staircases in here and we'll do like one two three and then uh just like that fill that all in we don't really need a window there i think we could do like plants or something and then that goes uh straight up then on the back wall we would have the windows uh, but this would go up anyways and then uh, yep, same thing, you know, stairs and, and spruce wood, so pretty straightforward. Uh, where the hard part is, is the, the second story. I I have no clue in the world how how floor two will be done. Um, I'm trying to make this the best building that we have built yet, and uh, <laughs> so far, I, I mean, it's just a building, right? But, like, uh, floor two is going to be the hard thing. Like, how do we make it fit? Does it pop out? Does it, does it stay flat? Does it not? So uh, let me let me get to that point in the build. So I think floor two would would be right here. We'll have a three high room, and and yes, this isn't usually you know how tall I like my builds, but it'll be fine. Um, uh, and then the fish farm can be centered on on one side of the build. But the thing is, uh, or the the big part of our question here is how does the build go actually like? Oh, oh, building block, building block, uh, wool, white wool. I, I want white wool on the build. So, hmm, 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 this is the I option, the, the idea of the option. Uh, we could go and make almost like a separate part of the building. Like, we have a balcony here, maybe, right? And then uh, this could just continue straight up, I think, honestly. Like, that just goes up, and so is that, and... Uh, this would would that work theoretically? Um, I think it would, but what we would need to do is is this beam. This beam needs to go in, and so would this, and then we could do like maybe a a different back wall just so we can have you know our our four corners um like the same and instead of like a you know an angled corner beam. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, but then how would the front go? Like, could we just do it flat, or would that look really weird? That that might look weird. Um, and we have a two wide window. I, I definitely don't like that. Um, definitely not a fan of that. Uh, hmm. It, it might be fine though, honestly. Like a little bit of asymmetry or asymmetrical builds, or that's that's fine, right? Like <laughs> that's our theme here in the world, anyways. So maybe that's the way to go. Maybe, maybe that's fine. Uh, we could do that, and then uh, over here, and then yeah, just maybe an open air balcony, maybe, uh, or or maybe I just copy this over. That might be the better way to do it. It is just do two sections of it, uh, but one of these would be only three. Um, is that going to be okay? Would this be all right? Um, it would be okay, but do I like it? I don't think I like it. I, I think this should be a balcony for sure. So let's go ahead and, and and I'll try and put some of the build in so we can get to the AFK fish farming and and that type of stuff, and I'll, I'll cut back in if there's anything huge or big or, or crazy or, or wild or or huge or big or crazy or wild. Uh, well put. <laughs> well put. For the roof line, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking something like this, like half slabs going up, but maybe at a... Uh, a less steep angle, right? Like two slabs, two slabs, two slabs over. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out. And yeah, but I'm thinking a slab roof uh, that sort of just slants over to add like a, a modern twist onto this medieval-ish build. Medieval-ish. <laughs> That's the build style. Medieval-ish, if you guys are looking for uh, um, a name. <laughs> Um, hmm, 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 I think, I think the other one was a little better, the, the other slope, okay, oh yeah, that is the one, that is the one, uh, so, 
slightly up and then and then it smooths out a little bit so perfect that's the roof uh but i will 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 uh, be mixing the mossy variants in so i think this is the part of the build now where i just start to to really get it in and then we'll come back for some detailing um but yeah i, I think everything should all uh, make sense from here on out so let's let's go ahead and uh, do some of this okay um well 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 would you take a look at what i have i i think it's pretty good i you know ignore the dirt but uh yeah i'm actually pretty happy with how it's coming along so time to move on to the next part of the build and the next part of the build is the interior floor at, at least for floor two so this is where i'm i'm kind of stumped but but i do have a rough idea and and i i don't know if this is going to to really work but i'd like to give it a shot so would this work if, if we were to go in here and ah i need a shovel <laughs> i try and craft everything like like before i uh record um or talk and it just doesn't work out as you have probably noticed uh, through the series so uh anyways the floor upstairs uh or, or the ceiling unfortunately we have to share the floor and the ceiling there's just not enough room but uh could we do like a checkered pattern right like I think we might be able to do something like that. That could be kind of cool. It, it would be different. And I mean, it, if not up there, I think it could definitely be pulled off down low, like down here. Um, but you know, I, I actually think that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go with it for the build. I, I love how the stones blend together and yeah, that'll be kind of cool to stand up here and, and have that. Um, so cool we'll do that uh and we need to position an afk fish farm up here so this is going to be weird we we have an even spot so i think the build is just gonna have to be uh, unfortunately not in the middle um it's not the end of the world though uh, it, it'll be fine now uh, the one thing that i didn't do yet is this here and i'm not too sure what to do i don't know if we do like just a simple slab roof like hanging off i that's what i'm kind of leaning towards honestly is like just a small border right like maybe uh i don't know honestly i just don't know um or do we just do nothing i oof. no i i need to point out something that drives me crazy uh, a little bit right like uh, if we place a stone slab and then we break it we would get a stone slab right but then if we place a stone and then i break it uh, well we know what happens i get cobblestone so uh huh uh huh uh my immersion has been ruined the game is basically unplayable at this point but uh oh we can't go up there okay so hmm maybe we go up here right that'll that'll be up to the second story and then we'll do the fish farm up there no pretty much the only way in, in such a compact small build to go up is a ladder i'm not you know the biggest fan of, of ladders or anything but I, I need more but i need more all right so um i'm finishing up the detailing we need uh some lanterns for sure on the build though lanterns are the way to go remember we canceled torches a few episodes ago so um yep we're, we're kind of down to lanterns now on the balcony i am thinking something like uh like what i'm doing here with um uh these overhangs almost creating i don't know what you call it but like <laughs> one of those outdoor things right like uh i i don't know I, it's fun it's cool it, it's it's decorative hey okay. pile there not that it makes sense but uh lantern there we go that's good for the balcony that's that's probably fine then on the inside we'll do i guess a lantern on the floor for now there and then downstairs this is what i did with the floor i think it's kind of cool um we place a lantern there for now <laughs> now i i need something around here around the door so what if we did like stone brick uh is that weird maybe something like uh this is a little better it, it's a weird indent still but ah uh, i don't know uh we could always do like like fences in here to whoops that's a button uh we could do fences in here to to kind of connect that over and then maybe we do 
a button right here actually because we want an iron door on the build you want iron doors on afk fish farms usually because um zombies will target you and um uh, zombies can break wooden doors on hard difficulty so uh, iron doors is the way to go then we need glass windows in there we'll do black stained glass and then the fish farm upstairs so finally the build now this is um a, a build by doc m and izuma did a tutorial as well and i guess we're doing one too here today so <laughs> uh but it is a 1.14 friendly afk fish farm now 1.13 changed some mechanics in terms of like actually being able to afk but uh the old designs still work and, and this is one of those designs that's kind of been around a while so um we need a double chest somewhere in here so let's say uh, double chest right there uh, then a hopper going into it and then on that hopper we need a fence and uh, behind where that fence is we need a block that is one whole block down so our ceiling will have to pop down I, I knew about this I planned on it and it's fine like that so uh, there's our pop down and um, then we need water on this that should yep it pours right into that that's good then behind there we need um this thing a note block <laughs> then on top of the note block a, a temporary block a trap door right next to it and then finally an iron pressure plate just like that so that's all good uh now we need a fishing rod and this is actually the first fishing rod of the series i think that we're crafting at least so there we go so now to use this thing all we need to do I believe is uh, I think we want to stand uh, here and aim like that right and, and we're just holding down like the use button over and over and over again and this is spamming and eventually we'll catch something um, and that thing will be thrown into the hopper that is right below this water and then moved into the chest and we will continue fishing forever uh, just like that that is the first thing we've ever caught what did we get we got a cod <laughs> so not off to a great start but that's how this thing works pretty easy to use like like crazy easy and yeah that's actually all there really is to it afk fishing is that easy so afk means away from keyboard you, you do this when you're not looking to play the game so like overnight which is what i will probably do in this world if i'm ever going to use the afk fisher i'll probably just leave this on and then go to bed like put something on my mouse and uh, then when i come back in the morning hopefully i have a whole chest full of good loot oh a puffer fish that's kind of cool now let's talk about improving the rates so uh, if we break the block directly above the water and uh, like leave it open to the sky um, then we will get better rates more fish will will be caught if the water source is open to the sky so like that now we don't need to leave that open open though we can place a glass block above it so phantoms don't get in here and we will still be good so that'll be fine and uh yes i still do need to do the ceiling um so that'll improve the rates a little bit then we need to get a good enchanted fishing rod so um just this once and, and usually i don't recommend you know enchanting fishing rods but we have the levels and we have an xp farm well we have a few we have the gold one we have the skeleton farm now so let's let's take a look and just see what we can get on this fishing rod uh luck of the sea two and on breaking three luck of the sea um I think this is the one that, yeah, Luck of the Sea gets you treasures. I always tend to mix up the fishing enchantments for some reason. Luck of the Sea gets you uh, more treasures when you're fishing, and Lure gets you more fish. So we got Luck of the Sea, which means more treasures, which is a good thing. We want treasures. Treasures are like Nautilus shells, enchanted books, bows, and by the way, mending, you know, the, the really good enchantment, um, yep, this is how you get it. Uh, or, or it's one of the easiest ways to get it so this will hopefully <laughs> become my mending farm uh, i i think i'll get a lot of use out of this thing uh in between episodes and off camera and everything i, I would never do this on camera but uh, if you're looking for enchantments and, and lots of them i i definitely recommend setting yourself up one of these in your worlds now this chest will fill up actually 
pretty quickly. So we need to expand the storage already, which is, is kind of crazy. We just built it and the storage needs to be expanded. Let's go ahead and move the crafting table, a furnace, and I mean, why not? The stone cutter inside now as well. Um, the chest can come, but I, I need to clear my inventory out a little bit first. So storage expansion. Storage expansion is really, really, really easy. Uh, so this is the whole reason I built this farm um, in a, in a two-story building. So we have this one chest right here, and then below this chest we can say um, hopper, or, or well, below the chest we can say double chest, right, like that, and then hopper going into the double chest. With a hopper below this chest, all of the items that go into here will be pulled out and funneled downwards into this one. Then we can repeat that whole system again, uh, really as many times as we want, going all the way down. So that is exactly what we'll do here. We'll have pretty much just a string of chests um, snaking down, 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 as far as I need. And I definitely always recommend doing this below your afk fish farms if you are planning on using these uh or it a lot and i probably plan on doing that so i don't know how far i i really want to go right now um i i think for now maybe we run it just down to the floor because that would be one two three four which which should be fine um i think I, I think, um, big thing, so yep, for now we'll just do four, that, and that'll be it. Um, then in the future, uh, as I need to, or if I need to, I can expand it. Now, this window needs to be taken care of. Um, how could we do this? Hmm. <laughs> we could do, like, panes, right? And then, like, slabs, maybe. Uh, maybe we do that? Uh, because we need to keep baby zombies out, right? Um, but I wanted this to be open still. So yeah, maybe something like that. That should be good. Then we have a bed in here so we can sleep. We have um, our whole setup over there. And we'll move the lantern maybe, hmm, I guess there. Uh, I, should, I should put it on a table. Hmm. Here's a table. Beautiful. So real quick, let's go ahead and finish up the inside in here. I, I think we'll just pretty much carry the same um, roof theme over like onto the uh the inside of it i should probably do an iron door on floor two as well uh just to be safe but where did i put the other iron doors i, I just had more hmm uh aha there you are okay cool and and we need buttons too so we can open it and you know Let's go ahead and grab a barrel and then go upstairs here and place it over in that corner right there. So the barrel will be for my fishing rod. If I were to place the fishing rod in here like temporarily, it would be moved all the way down to the bottom chest now. And that's not what I want. So this is where I'll put, I guess, the really good stuff. Uh, well, I'm AFK fishing. And then whenever I'm done, I can go down. I can sleep or, or not sleep and, and just go outside and do my things. So we'll go ahead and throw just a few carpets in here to kind of spruce things up a little bit. Maybe two, three long ones. And then that's it for now. The build is fine and complete at least on the inside i definitely need to decorate up the outside and make it look a little more pretty i could definitely use some fences in here and this connection's odd but i i think it's fine it'll work so maybe i'll go ahead and, and try some fences out on the build right now and then i think it's time to talk about one final thing for the day but that should pretty much sum up afk fishing if you have any questions definitely go ahead and and ask them down below but uh, you AFK fish for good things, and I will be AFK fishing off camera in between episodes. Absolutely. So, the final thing that I wanted to talk about today. Uh, this piece of armor. Fire protection 4, unbreaking 3, protection 2. Uh, the protections. That's not normal. There's a bug, actually, in 1.14 right now, and I, I didn't even catch this right away, but... Uh, the bug gets fixed in 1.14.3, so hopefully, depending on how quickly 1.14.3 actually comes out, um, hopefully we can build a, a really crazy set of armor, so I I don't know when we're going to do it and, and stuff, and 
uh, uh, yeah, because I need diamonds, but, um, yep, I, I just wanted to kind of mention that, and, and yeah, you should definitely, like, take note of that if you're playing in 1.14.2 right now, like, get, uh, get some good armor, but, well, well, you can, because it's a bug and it's fixed in 1.14.3, but I, I think that's pretty much it for today's episode. Now, we will go over AFK fishing a, a bit more, or just fishing in general, and, and the loot tables, and like what's treasure, what's junk, all of that. But um, today, I, I just wanted to show off the farm, which again, was originally designed by Doc M and, and showcased by Azuma, and I'm sure many, many other people. So build one of those in your world, get a good fishing rod, uh, and fish at it, and hopefully, maybe, you'll, you'll get some good stuff. Uh, I'd like to give a special shout out to Witchcraft today um, for supporting me, so thank you. And uh, thank you everybody else for watching the video today. My name is Waddles, I, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye everybody.